Next valuable question for the interview room. We have interface concept, abstract class concept and a concrete class. When we should go for interface, when we should go for abstract class and when we should go for concrete class. So exactly, this is the place where we should go for interface. Can you explain? So in which case we should go for interface, abstract class, concrete class. Okay. Now, interface, we have to talk about interface versus abstract class. Interface versus abstract class versus concrete class. Interface versus abstract class versus concrete class. Here, very, very simple. If we don't know anything about implementation, I don't know, I don't know anything about implementation, just uh, we have requirement specification. Just I have one requirement, that's all. To represent this, we should go for interface concept. Okay, this way. If we don't know anything about implementation, just uh, I have requirement specification, then we should go for interface concept. Okay? Best example for this interface concept is servlet. Servlet, servlet itself is an interface, right? If we don't know anything about implementation, just uh, we have requirement specification, 100% abstraction is uh, nothing but we should go for interface concept. Next, uh, when we should go for abstract class? We are talking about implementation, but not completely, just a partial implementation. If we are talking about implementation, but not completely, partial implementation, then we should go for abstract class. Next level, abstract class concept. If you want the example for that, okay, generic servlet, generic servlet and the HTTP servlet. Generic servlet and the HTTP servlet. These are examples for abstract classes, right? Suppose, if we are talking about implementation completely and are ready to provide service, yes, I am talking about implementation completely ready to provide service. If you want, you can create my object and you can call any method. My method is in a position to provide response. Then we should go for concrete class. Then we should go for concrete, concrete class, my own servlet. My own servlet, whatever servlets we are going to write, itself is nothing but concrete class. I hope you people can able to understand. When we should go for interface, abstract class, concrete class, right? So, if we are, if we don't know anything about implementation, just we have requirement specification, then we should go for interface concept. Okay, this Next, when we should go for abstract class? We are talking about implementation, but not completely partial implementation. Then we should go for abstract class. If we are talking about implementation completely ready to provide service, then we should go for what? Concrete class, right? Okay, this Just let me give one small analogy. You people can able to understand, right? Suppose I want to build one thousand stairs building. We can't start directly construction of the building. First, we will have some plan. Requirement specification, boss. This is the plan for this building. Like, we require some plan. That the plan itself is nothing but interface concept. That plan itself is interface concept. Just for the building, yes, it is about requirement specification. This is the specification of this building. Like, we have plan itself is an interface, right? Now, based on this plan, we started construction of building. Suppose, thousand states building is our requirement. Some 200 floors completed. Just a partially completed, not complete. Partially completed building is a nothing but abstract class. Next level, partially completed building. Partially completed building is a nothing but abstract class. We are talking about implementation, but not completely is a nothing but like. Yes, thousand floors building I ready, I constructed, ready to use. Then that one is nothing but what? A concrete class. So fully completed building. Fully completed building is a nothing but concrete class, right? I hope you people can able to understand. So plan is a something like a interface concept, just a requirement specification. 
partially completed building partial implementation just like abstract class fully completed building is an ultimate concrete class right okay this so when we should go for interface concept when we should go for abstract class concept like i hope you people can able to understand clearly right okay this So I hope is a clear for all of you. So interface is just like a plan. Next abstract class is just like partially completed building. Concrete class is nothing but fully completed building. Now can you tell in reality which one is required? We require only concrete classes. Interface and abstract class are intermediate stages to get concrete class. Okay, this are you going to stay in the plan? No. Are you going to stay in partially completed building? No. In fully completed building only we can able to stay. In reality, which one we are going to use is concrete class. But these are intermediate stages to get a concrete class. I hope the terminology is very clear. In the entire room, if any person is going to ask, when we should go for abstract class, interface, concrete class, we should be in a position to answer. Okay, this is it. That's all.